All right, everyone, welcome to another game of MLB 13, the show where we are in Wrigley Field in Chicago today. I'm joined by Nicole Burge. She's going to be here up in the booth with us, and uh, we're going to be calling the game uh, this evening. Um, uh, I believe, who's the Mets? Mets is uh, Bay Area Bugs? No, it's Zach. But we're in Chicago. I'm the Cubs. Okay, so Bay Area Bugs is the Chicago Cubs. All the way from New York Mets is on the East Coast, Zachary Hausnecht. Where we're going to try to get this game. Uh, last game that we uh, we saw was, I believe, was the Oakland A's versus the uh, Phillies. the Phillies. And my God, was a terrible, terrible, terrible game. Hopefully, Zach can redeem himself in this one tonight. I'm not sure. Um, Nicole knows a, you know a little bit more about baseball than me. A um, <laughs> just a, just a smidge. Um, but uh, just so people know, yeah, I don't know that much about baseball. It just, it, I, I kind of lost interest in it back uh, when they had the, the strike in the late 80s. I uh, kind of ruined a part of my childhood, so I owe that to baseball. <laughs> Always the childhood. <laughs> Eric Young Jr. starting tonight. Uh, we got Daniel Murphy. David can't see the rest, as usual, going straight to a black screen. Okay, here goes the first pitch. Nope, they're just playing catch in the beginning of the game. And look at that. The mount, the pitcher just walks away, and he throws it right to second base. Now, I do know that Brian Boguzvic, Bogus, Bogus, Hocus Pocus. Brian Hocus Pocus <laughs> is the first one up. Um, does that mean he's the first batter? Yes. Okay. Wait, uh, it, was that defense? No, no, that was defense. He's the, <laughs> yeah, right. he's the center fielder. Okay, well, well, we'll try to figure this out. Okay, Matt, this looks like uh, Bo Jackson's uh, get up here in the in the black and purple Mets. Remember Bo knows baseball back in the day? Maybe you don't. Uh, but we are here in Wrigley Field in Chicago. Beautiful day or evening. Sorry, it's uh, about 70-something degrees outside. I'm going by real time. Here's the pitch down the center, and it's going to be a swing and a miss. 96 miles an hour. Right off the back, he's going to pick up the bat and scoot away from the base. Not sure what's happening here. There's the instant spawn as usual. <laughs> Waiting for the, uh, the pitch from, I'm not sure the name of this pitcher. Because oh, we don't. No idea. I don't even know. Yeah, I don't get to see. Uh, I can't pronounce it. It's super long. <laughs> uh, I, well, I can't wait for that. Uh, there's a tipper off the bat. It looks like he almost like he could have bunted that and had a better uh, a better advantage. All right, waiting for the uh, the pitch to be thrown here. Is there's a little bit of a delay in the beginning of this game. Here comes the pitch down the center. It's going to be right down the center, all the way up. He puts his glove in the air. Says, "You know what, bro? You are out of there." Throws it back over to. Uh, the short is that technically the shortstop? Yes, it is. Yep. And they oh, actually. Oh, we got a fight brewing over here near the <laughs> grass. You know, ran into each other. Actually. Yeah. Well, he said, "You know what? Here goes the. Here's the throw. This is the replay." He's like, "You know what? I don't need any angels to pick me up to pick this one up. We just catch Boy. it in our glove and throw it right back to home." <laughs> Daniel Murphy, look at that goatee, <laughs> telling his fans to hold off what they are doing because. He knows how to hit a baseball. Well, we'll see if that's true. As the pitcher winds up, here comes the pitch down the center, and it's going to be a swing and a miss. Tonight's game brought to you by Miller Fortune instead of uh, the usual Budweiser Ambev products. Actually, Miller is not a Ambev product, right? Pretty sure it's not. Yeah, I don't believe so. <laughs> you can't speak. But it is uh, <laughs> it is Miller Fortune, and it's a uh, it's a different it's a six point nine alcohol. Alec Beverage. Alcohol Alec, per Alec Beverage. Alec Beverage. There Alec you have Baldwin's it. Alec Baldwin's <laughs> yeah. brother. The Alec Baldwin. There's a 90 mile an hour down the center. That was a uh, that was a strike. That's all right. The Mets can try to play uh, play up all they want and uh, try to trip me up, but uh, they're not they're not doing so hot so far. As we have the bases completely empty. Here's the throw down the center. A little outside. Strikes him out of there. You know the catcher gets a little animated. Says you're out. And back. Look at this Cub. Uh, I'm not sure Guatemala Sama Harila, <laughs> something like that. Is that the name of the the cat? Yeah, the pitcher. Sama something. Sam 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 Vosky Gogi. Well, sandwich yeah. 29. Sandwich. There we go. David Wright, uh, the Wright brothers. One of the thir the third Wright brother. They brought you flight. Now let's see if you can make a baseball fly. That's the. Uh, <laughs> that's what we're gonna try to do. Here comes the pitch up a little outside, but he swings at it anyway, and he's gonna have to back up. And recompose himself, and there's the insta spawn back to base. <laughs> Looks like he's grabbing a bat right between his legs there. As he uh, gets ready for the pitch, here comes the pitch down this center, and oh, it was almost. Is that what they call a slider? 
It looked like it was shot to the uh, one side and kind of slid over across home plate. I think that's what they call a slider in baseball. Am I right? I feel like a slider is a cheeseburger, Jeff. That is true. It's a uh, White Castle, which is also known as Crystal Burger to people who don't know what White Castles is, but they what? call those sliders. Crystal Burger. Crystal burger. You guys don't have, you don't have either a Crystal I Burger or... I don't have either of those. White okay, Castles well, is the state below us. Oh, man. Yeah, well, like one idiot. state below us, but it's not enough for the number five as he's going to strike out and head back to the... I call it the bullpen, but you guys call it the dugout. So back to the dugout it goes. Zero zero. We're at nothing nothing goose eggs here in the top of the first bottom top of the first. <laughs> Alrighty, waiting for the uh, first pitch from the Mets. Wait, we are at the bottom of the first now. I said we were at the top of the first, but that was three outs and they were out of there. So now it uh, looks like this guy's gonna come up on the pitcher mound. Not sure the name of this player. Here comes that pitch down the center, and it's gonna be a little to the bottom. Cub hits it. I think it was hit. Fans uh, giving a little bit of hail Hitler back there. I'm not sure what they were doing no. with their arms. <laughs> that's what it, that's what it looked like, and now they're crossing them. Okay, here comes this pitch from the Met down the center. Oh, nice one, 87 miles an hour. Not that fast, but it was enough for the uh, Cub to miss it, or not even to uh, agree to committing to hitting. <laughs> here comes the throw again down oh, a little to the left, and that'll be called a ball as the umpire. Well, I don't know what the catcher's doing. He stood up there and clapped his hands. I think he saw like what the cat, what, kind of what the umpire did, you know, the monkey clap claps her hands, and then he just re responded with it as well, as a childhood tune with uh, of course, monkey. It's always back to your childhood. Yeah, it's called monkey see, monkey do. I'm sure you're familiar with it. Right, you are, Jeff. Yes, and you know what? Going back to this last broadcast, we talked about here's a shot. It's going to be over to the outfielder, and he's going to throw the first. And, and I'm not sure. Safe. Yep, safe. I'm starting to get used to the calls now from these umpires. Is apparently throwing the arms out to the left and right means safe. And he was safe indeed. But we were talking about last time running from eraser to eraser. That is called the shuttle run. As someone shuttle had run. brought up to me. So I was correct by saying that running to eraser to eraser. And Nicole, you said that you did that as well. That was the truffle shuffle, Jeff. The truffle shuffle. There you have the it. Truffle. So there's an 88 mile an hour thrown down the center. And this is going to throw back to the pitcher. Uh, the second baseman putting his hand on his head. Is so this that's, a little? That's an umpire. Or that's an umpire. Why would there be an umpire in the middle? He, he's watching Checking. the. Uh, yeah. Okay. He's, he's a secondary checker. Okay, makes sense. Secondary. They're, they're going to give it up. They're raising the roof behind you. Here comes the pitch. This one's going to be to the right. Damn it's going to be out to the outfield again, and he's going to throw it over to second and try to get him or third, and that's not going to make it. So we've got uh, two uh, two cubbies on the on first and second. Maybe the Mets should have taken their warm-ups a little more seriously today. Yeah, I think so. And wow. here goes the, here's that shot. Look at this. Here's the pitch. He hits it. There's your guy running over there to the second. He throws it. Or he doesn't throw it, but he scoops it up, throws it, and we miss it all. <laughs> <laughs> Great editing room today. Thank you. And maybe they're having a couple of Miller fortunes. I'm not sure. They're 6.9 alcohol. And what is that called? Alcoholic percentage. percentage yes, they're they're six point nine percentage of alcohol to volume. So, so uh, Jeff will be intoxicated. Uh, that that is a possibility. Here's a tip, or it's going to be way up in the air. This one's not going to meet a fan. I think it's just going to come right down. And yes, he's. I think that's what they. It's considered an out, right? If they're in the foul zone, yep. they still catch it. There you go. So that's one out on the Cubs, or two, one out. One out. Yeah, Here, little inside. Look at that. Hits it up. Reaches for the stars as he says, you better catch that. He does. And he's just going to hold on to it. He's going to play catch with one of his uh, teammates. We saw that. We see that a lot here um, with these players in particular. They like to play catch after the ball has been um, completely thrown out of play. Here's a little. It was a, not even a slide. It was, was a curveball. Yeah, it was a, a big arc on that. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening. He throws over the third trying to assume, and he's going to go ring around the rosies. Pocket full of posies and nothing. <laughs> Looks like the catcher needs to uh, lose a few pounds there. I, <laughs> with his big blue belly. <laughs> All right, is that Harvey? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We got Harvey. Wasn't that a rabbit? Harvey the rabbit or something? Uh, Here goes throw Lee Harvey Oswald. I mean, last we no. had Lee, now we have Harvey. So Not Lee Harvey Oswald. Maybe a little no. too soon for the JFK conspiracies <laughs> or, or whatever you want to call it, or the tragedy of JFK. Here's the throw. Ball. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. Too soon on Abraham Lincoln. I mean, that was... I need to commentate this game like I need a hole in the head, Jeff. <laughs> oh, yes, oh, you do. Too soon. And that is uh, what she said. Here comes the pitch. It's going to be down the center. Beautiful, but he's going to hit it. It's going to the outfield, the and he's going to say, I've got it. And that's going to be the second out against the Cubs. 
as he throws that one back to the catcher and catcher's gonna do a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, jogging there by the cub and the uh, 33 of Harvey is gonna walk back to the mound young is that what that says young yes doesn't look very young but he's uh, out there uh, ready to play some ball tonight Nate Sh Shire Holtz <laughs> Nate Shire holds up here uh, for the uh, for the batting for the Cubs. Here comes the pitch. Oh, a little down. It's a little delayed, and it goes over there to the... Oh, fuck. I forgot and what a terrible base. error by the third oh. baseman as he couldn't get it there in time. The Cub is going to make it. Murphy upset. Is that Murphy? I thought it was uh, something else earlier. Oh, I forgot but he's the third baseman. Look at that. He throws it over there, and he slides for no reason. He had plenty of time to get to the base. Didn't have to dirty his pants up, but he's going to anyway. <laughs> You're sliding into home. Your pants are full of foam. I've heard that one before when I was younger. <laughs> this Cub ready to want the, the ready ready to hit this amazing pitch. It's going to be thrown by I believe is Murphy now. There's the throw. It's off to the right over the looks like the soccer goal and uh, the looks, looks like home plates. Are those extra home plates over there sitting on the ground? Yeah, there, there's where that's where pitchers warm up. That's what the pitchers warm up. That's one goes out to the fans. That's one goes out to the fans. <laughs> I'm not sure what the magenta two and the uh, cyan one mean there, but there's the throw. It's pop. It's a pop fly. Catches oh. it. Runs into the player. <laughs> Insta spawns back to the base. Here comes that pitch. A little curveball on the inside. And he's gonna say, "Nope, I know your games uh, from before, Murphy, and I'm not taking them." Is that Murphy or Martin? Harvey. 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 Well, I saw a Murphy, a Murphy earlier. So that's Lee. Uh, Lee Harvey. So here's Harvey. Lee Harvey Murphy. Um, Lee Harvey Murphy. There's Harvey throwing it in the you know, little curveball there. Fans getting really animated in the back as they're probably having some Miller fortunes themselves. God this one's going to be a grounder, oh. and it completely misses that, Matt. As Not he has even to, ready. No, he has to run all the way out there to pick that one up. It gets thrown back to uh, what seems to be the oh, pitcher, and he's going to play uh. catch with the catcher, and the catcher barely made it. They're <laughs> continuing to play catch. <laughs> The Cubs gonna walk it in. Maybe he needs to Already. shave that. If, maybe if he shaved his. Oh, look at this. Here's the re, the replay. As he powers that thing out of there. This one bounces off the ground two times. There's one. There's twice. This Met loses focus. Maybe he didn't have a. He, maybe he didn't have his Red Bull. Didn't get some wings today to pick up and catch that and throws it back all the way so they can continue a game of catch. This umpire wearing a black hat was what they call in the media. Wearing the black hat's a bad thing. This cub from the blue man group from the blue man group. It kind of looks for the blue man group as well. From what I can, from, from what I can see here, here's the pitch down the center. This one's going way back That's out that. the outfield oh again. He's going to catch it up and uh, barely, barely got to it, but he did Mets versus the Chicago Cubs. That's that is correct. They're showing us that. Uh, are those real houses? Are those yes. fake? Those I think they're trying to keep like a homely look to the, mm, the stadium. I've pretty, never been there in personal in, in real life. Sure I assume they real. don't. I assume they don't have bleachers on top of houses in Chicago right next to them. Well, being a Cardinals fan, we are very unwelcome there. So yes, very. Matter. That is very true. We are. We're based out of St. Louis, but uh, um, we haven't made it up to a Cubs game uh, never in my lifetime. Here's the pitch, little low, but he's going to swing at it. A nice um, game of golf this and, evening. Yes, very nice game of golf. Very low with it, and I'm seeing 94 miles an hour. But also, I believe we're in the top of the second now. Correct. Yes, we're at the top of the... I've learned to, to read that a little bit better. So we're at the top of the second. And uh, the... Or the uh, yeah, the, the Cubs throwing this one. Here goes. Pop it up. Pop, pop. And it's going to make a fan happy today by catching the that popper. ball. Quick time popcorn popper. <laughs> uh, again, no, we don't regurgitate our material. It just... I remember it from last year. Uh, last year. Last uh, broadcast. <laughs> last year. That Miller... Was that Miller yeah. Oh. That, that Miller Fortune hit me a little bit like a brick wall there for a few seconds. Uh, <laughs> Cubs.com. That seems very short. Is it legit? I don't know. I wouldn't try out Cubs.com, but uh, if you want to and you're feeling lucky, go for it. There's that swing and a miss, and he just says, nope, not even close. This pitcher putting his hand up in the air, grabbing some big league chew, about to put it in his mouth. Juan Lagoon Lagares, as they call him. Getting ready for Lagares. Yeah, I'm getting ready to throw this one or to. Why do I say throw this one? I meant bat it. Juan. Yeah, this Juan. Very nice. Get <laughs> getting ready to throw this Juan. Here, here comes the throw down the center and a tipper. It's going to hit the camera, and he's going to spin around. But auto insta. We talked about the insta spawns last game, and 
Looks like it's continuing into this game. We're, we're having a hard time the following The game it. will take two hours. It that's takes so true. long. Oh, that's very true. Here's the pitch, and it's going to be a grounder over to the second baseman. He's going to throw it back to first and say, you're out. Uh, that meant hoping that and praying that he would have made it there in time, but he's going to smack his hands, and it, was probably, it wasn't his hands' fault, but Castro, Fidel Castro, is going to walk it off and say, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> we're doing pretty good out here so far. Ike Davis, Babe Ruth in it. Behind him, as usual. I don't know what these ball players and pointing behind them is all about, but uh, I feel like they're stretching. They are stretching, and but also th this one they've been hitting a lot of balls today behind uh, the camera and behind uh, behind, behind where the they, scenes ball hitting exactly behind the scenes ball hitting <laughs> uh, coming to a theater near you. Here comes the Mets of twenty three. Not sure what is happening here. He's just having a little bit of a neck kind of a body spasm there as the pitcher throws it down the center. It's a fast one. Not sure how he did not yeah, connect Yeah, there's really no reason the Mets shouldn't be knocking these out of the park. These no, are great pitches. That is very true. These are really good. They're down the center. They're fast. Um, but the Mets just are not uh, not connecting with the ball tonight. Here's the pitch down the set. A little inside. Uh. And he clips him there. Gargonzola or whatever that is. <laughs> not even close, though. Yeah, Gargonzola, 29, walking it off. Try to figure that out. That's a cheese, I believe. Isn't it Gargonzola cheese? There he is. I think it's a little, uh, it's, it's an expensive cheese. Here's the change up. So we're going to be in the top, the bottom of the second. Uh, and Barney Fife. Darwin, Barney, going to be... So, not I've got nothing on this one. <laughs> thinking about uh, thinking about uh, the island, Dar uh, Darwin. What is that? Easter? Uh, not Easter Island. It's the other one. It's the uh, you Galapagos. Said no, I'm, the Galapagos. I'm thinking of the dinosaur. No, yes, you are, and uh, that would be the the purple dinosaur, <laughs> a Barney, Barney and friends. Speaking of the purple, it's on the uh, stripes of the Mets tonight. Here, it throws over to first. He catches it. Says nope. Not good enough. You're going to be out. Throws it back to the second baseman. The Mets in no rush tonight. Absolutely no rush as usual. And here is a man in a, in a rush to run back. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening here. I, I've got to be honest with you. Jeff Gargonzola. Love the man. Love the cheese. <laughs> love the man. Love the cheese. And not only that, he is their pitcher tonight. I don't even know the pitchers even played bat. Here's the throw. Played. <laughs> Clicks it played right off to bat. the right, and it's into the grass. Played bat. Do they uh, do pitchers actually bat? I'm, yes. I, did. yes. I had Everybody no clue. Bats. No clue. You, the Not show is correct. The, other, the one league they don't. They this the one's going to be off to the left, and it's going to be <sighs> caught by the Met. And that's going to be an out. I believe that's their second out. Yep, that is. Throws it to shortstop to second. And they're going to play some catches. Gargonzola's going to run it back because he did not make it. He can throw, but he sure as hell can't bat too well. But there's Harvey <laughs> picking it up. Walking back to the plate. Starlin Castro. Starlin's like a marlin, like a fish you you, you can catch down in the uh, Gulf of Mexico. Where ever Castro go. would be, so uh, it makes sense. Or yeah. Cuba. Yeah, Cuba. Down there is <laughs> where the, the marlin run. Have you been down where the Benita run? I, I have. Here comes the uh, the pitch. It's a little to the outside, but it's going to be a grounder oh, over to the outfielder. It's going to take a little bit, and he won't be able to make it in time. And uh, the uh, Cubs will have one man on first. Not sure what happened there. He just kind of was clapping his hands together. Gave up on that play. Yeah, completely. And this Cub chewing, not chewing any big Luke Chi. Big <laughs> Ling Chu, as he Luke should. Big Lube. <laughs> big Lube Chu. There's the, uh, there's the grounder off to the left-hand side. He's going to pick that one up and uh, MLB the show. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> Never see Murphy, the other pitcher. What, what's the odds of this? Here's the other pitcher getting ready to do bath. Uh, it was a, news to me that the pitch. no, he's not a pitcher. Oh no, he's not. That would be the other <laughs> Davis or uh, Screw, uh, Harvey. Gorgonzola. Gorg Gorgonzola cheese. Yeah, no, Gorg that would be the other guy. Yep, you're right. Okay, here comes the throw down the center, and it's going to be a swing and a miss. 88 oh. miles an hour there. Just a little late there. Just a tad late. Just well, at least on our screen it was. Late. Here comes the pitch down the center again, and it's low. Why is the Cub? Why would he be? Uh, why would he swing at that one? That was the worst pitch I've seen. In this entire inning. And it hasn't even been that long. There's a ball. 81. And the uh, umpire going to adjust his mask, his face mask. He's going to get back down because we've seen last game we had an umpire get injured by these players. Here's another one picking the bat up. I believe he's out. And there's the change up. We're going to be at the bottom of the second. Oh, we got a long way to go in this game. Is it, is it, is it indeed the bottom of the second or the top of the third? Uh, top of the third. Top of the third. Okay, so we're, we're slowly rolling along here. Uh, we've got uh, Travis Darnold. 
The Arnod. Arnod. Arnodding to his fans because he's getting ready to bat this one away as the uh, the Cubs are uh, getting ready to pitch here. Here comes that pitch. It's down the center. It's a little there to the left. Uh, on the Had pitch. a nice curve on it. Oh, a very nice curve. And <laughs> Reword. <laughs> yeah, he's going to have the reword there as he gets ready to set up for the second one here. That was a... Uh, I, I, now I completely lost track of what... That was a ball or a strike. But here comes the pitch. Oh, inside. Almost hits the player. He backs up. And he goes, no. I don't think I'm going to swing at that one. And, and I'm not really seeing the, the, the need for the uh, Cubs here as they are... I did not know the Chicago <laughs> Cubs had a three lead on the uh, yes. on the New York Mets. I, when did they get runs? I don't know. I guess the first inning, bottom of I the believe, first. Oh, bottom of the first. Well, I was in Candyland. I, didn't, I had no idea that was even happening. So Candyland. Yeah, waiting for uh, the Mets here as we have. Okay, now I just relayed to me that Chicago is leading three to nothing. Here's the pitch. It's inside. This one's up in the air. I think the first baseman's going to catch it, and he does. Just throws it right to the second baseman. For no, for just to, I, these players oh love to play God. catch after the plays. I don't know. Here comes the replay. Pops that sucker in the air. He goes whoop. Got it. As the outfielder was running in to try to scoop it up, but uh, no need for that. So he's getting extra cardio that he didn't even need. Ruben sandwich. The next batter up here. <laughs> uh, the Mets eleven. Ruben sandwich. And they have that Thousand Island dressing, which I absolutely can't stand. I hate Thousand Island dressing. It's disgusting. There's the throw. A little chunky, uh, the oh, Thousand Island great. dressing is. Over to first. Lit. Great lay. And throws it back to the short stop. Short stop. And I think the first <laughs> baseman was. Short stop. Yeah. New, uh, Murphy. <laughs> Eddie Murphy walking it off. Gargonzola picking it up. <laughs> Some dirt, maybe. Did we ever find out what they? Matt Harvey. Here's a, here's here you are back at Harvey again, and he, he is point. indeed the Mets pitcher, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So here's the Mets pitcher. Let's see if he can put this one away. Here's the throw. It was kind of there, but it wasn't. It was a I, swing and a miss. I feel like that should have hit the pitcher. I thought it, I I thought that was the ball that was going out to hit the pitcher. Is what it looked like to me. But here, uh, that's that's from all of the uh, the views and the angles that we get. Here comes that pitch. It's going to be down the center, and it's a swing and a miss. Yet an, another one for the Mets. The Mets just can't seem to put it together tonight. And that was a long flight from New York into Chicago. Maybe about, what, yeah, two and a half hours or so. Here comes the pitch. It's going to be the outside, and it's going to be a foul ball all the way to the right, bouncing off the wall and coming to a rest between the area apparently where the pitchers warm up. Zero and two. I think that's how many hits and runs. I'm not sure what that stat means. And the catcher says, yeah, you did it, boy. You get him. And uh, Gargonzola's going to pack it up, pack it in, run back inside. Rizzo, Navarro. It's like Dave Navarro. Uh, Shire Holtz. So we got a point two eight five. What is the, I, I'm not really sure what those numbers mean. We said last batting time. Average. Batting average. Uh, average of like one, like point two five uh, nine uh, times uh, they hit it every time it was thrown. I, I, maybe. <laughs> Oh, uh, sounds like we have some real baseball fans here tonight. Uh, <laughs> home of the Chicago Cubs. That is Wrigley Field. You see the sign over there, and you certainly are at the stadium with us. And if you're not, you're at Cubs. home Com. watching Cubs.com right above it. Practicing Again, that bunt. Yeah, practicing the bunt. Uh, trying to get those hot dog bunts out there. And here comes the throw. It's going to be down the set, a little to the inside. 88 miles an hour. That 88, that's uh, that's Dale her junior's number inside of his car. And that's a uh, and, and it's the speed you have to go to go back to the future in the in the uh, time traveling DeLorean. Uh, exactly. Not sure what that meant. And uh, I don't think ball players are supposed to be talking to the announcers. There's the throw on the inside. Ball is called. The ball is called. And he's gonna try to recompose himself. It looks to me like the umpire is kind of being biased here by clapping, saying good luck to the Cubs. Here comes the throw. It's gonna be down the center, loops at the bottom. Catcher's gonna say, "You got it." And uh, the catch. Oh, you know, I just noticed the catcher's putting his hands in between his pants, and I think he is giving him the signals of a fastball ah. and whatnot. I'm not sure if that's animated. 44 throwing the bat. I believe that you get in trouble for that in uh, high school if you throw the bat. <laughs> I, I believe that your 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 cost something is cost for sure. I don't think you can throw the bat, but apparently it's okay in, on a ball. It, it, maybe because it was in a ball. That's the reason why Davis 
Oh, that's not Davis. That's uh, that's one of the Cubs, and that's Rizzo. No, it's not. It's Navarro. Dave Navarro. I believe he's uh, now on the Inked show, the one with the tattoos. I can feel this guy's got dance moves. Oh, he does. He's going. He's been dancing around all the whole time, warming up. Here's the throw. It's going to be the catcher's mitt. It's a little delayed every single time. Throws it to second. Back to first. Trying to get that double play in it. I'm not sure. Does that mean he's safe? I think Damn so. It, yep. Damn All right. So that's one out. And that's a safe man on first. Here's the replay of that. Little inside. Grounds it. Should have threw it. That, the shortstop. Yeah, they, get, they love showing that twice. And now we get to see nothing. <laughs> Nate Shire holds. The man with the goatee getting ready to bat this one away. Never doubt the magical powers of the, the glorious beard. Absolutely not. And we're at the bottom of the third. And that was a terrible, terrible throw and a terrible... Why would he was swinging that? I'm not sure. That's a strike. As it was way out of the zone, out of the strike zone. Here comes this throw. And that was to the outside. It's going to be a ball. And number 19 is going to say, nope, Dave Navarro. Is that still Navarro up to bat? Nope. Okay, yes, it is. So he's going to say no. <laughs> The Mets have had a little bit of Miller fortune. Just, just, two, just, just a few of them. <laughs> and they are delicious, I've got to say. They're in a black bottle, and they've got a spade with the Miller logo on them there. If you haven't seen them, they oh. are quite oh. interesting. Looking. Throws it to first, and I'm not sure what happened. He Still made it second. to second in time. I'm not sure if that was an error by the D-pad, but he throws it back to the <laughs> pitcher's mound. Clapping it up. The Cubs pulling those pants up, saying we got to get things done today. Here's the throw. Once again, this replay, and I don't know what happened here. Here's the catcher just excited taking, about life. Yeah, he's talking about life, but it took him about a year to realize that <laughs> he needed to throw the ball. He nearly made it all the way to the pitcher's mound before he threw it. Here's the throw. The catcher, by the way, who was in a terrible car accident just <laughs> last July. Yes, that's why he. We're couldn't. happy to have him back in baseball this year. By the uh, this Shire Holtz is that his name? Yeah, that shot. Oh, Who's what? this man? My <laughs> lord, super close up on Harvey's face. You can see the the sweat pouring off his off him there. Not oh, sure what that, that one about? was about. <laughs> I am not sure. Here's Hocus Pocus Pocus Evic. Hocus at the end of that Pocus. name. That's a weird one. But uh, the Cubs getting ready to bat this one away. Look at all of these different strike zones. I'm not sure what those numbers are. There's the throw, and it's going to be a clipper to the left. Not not like the ship. Not a clipper ship. But here goes the throw again. And that was a beautiful one, and he does hit it right to the second baseman. And he's going to play what I originally thought was the shortstop position. Apparently, the second baseman goes that far to the right, which is a good thing because if he wasn't, then I don't think it would have out. Young Junior, Murphy, and Wright. Not real. Not real at all on the <laughs> left, young junior. <laughs> he was a free agent when the pictures were taken, probably. Oh, there he is. There he is. <laughs> Here's Eric Young Jr. Here's a man fly out in first is what that said, I believe. Is that his motto? <laughs> in the first inning, he fly out. You, you fly out right. the first time. <laughs> I think I've heard that one before. Here's the throw, and it's going to be a foul ball over to the fans. As the umpire walked over there in disbelief that even happened. He's kind of just staring at the crowd there for a while. All right, get ready for this pitch. Here's the pitch. It's a little inside. Oh. Nearly clips the dick, but he's going to pack it off. <laughs> going to back it off and back it in. and Clips the dick. Try to get it again. <laughs> Nearly clips the dick. This guy holding it up. Yes, he is. <laughs> he is holding it up. And here, get ready for the pitch. Here's the pitch. It's way outside. He swings at it anyway. Reaching. And I'll tell you what, I'm I, I'm not surprised that Zach would even try to throw or to swing at something like that. At this point, the Mets are just grasping at straws. That's what they do every single time. Here's the throw. It's a little to the middle. And this one is a foul ball going to the fans. Uh, I'm not really sure. I feel like the Mets are just out to give souvenirs today because they are not out to win this baseball <laughs> game. Certainly are not. And in and, and their merchandise truck out back is <laughs> probably not doing so hot as they're probably losing some fans at this point. Is this Matt is struck out, walks it off, and nearly hits himself in the head with a bat. Gargonzola very happy with that pitch. It's, I'm not really sure what happened there. The I'm not really was sure how that happens stretching. on over all that hair. Look at that. He has a lot of hair on the back of his head. You're right. I just noticed that. 
<laughs> Daniel Murphy, Eddie Murphy, getting Another ready for this one. Another great beard in this game. Yes, and he, and he has the white gloves like Michael Jackson. Let's see if he can no. uh, moonwalk this one back to uh, the uh, fans out there way underneath the something. Oh, it has his name, Daniel Murphy, underneath the scoreboard. <laughs> Here's the throw. Beautiful stadium, this Wrigley Field. It's, uh, I believe it's got a lot of uh, nostalgic value to the fans of baseball and, and to us alone. I don't know what that means, but here's the throw. <laughs> it's down the center, and it's going to be a foul ball. We've seen this one too many times. Two fans reaching for that ball, and it's not going to even be given to them as they will go home empty-handed tonight. I was I, I, I was waiting for the moon to rise, but I don't think we're going to see it. I think this is an evening game. There's the... I'm not sure what happened. No. I, there's insta-spawn. It just missed is what it says there. Um, just early, too. I'm, I, I'm trying to figure out what those stats mean when they pop up. Here is the throw. It oh. is going to be a grounder down the center. The se second baseman diving for it. Not sure why. There goes over to the first base. And he's going to be safe. <laughs> and he falls as well. I don't think the dry cleaners going to be happy about this one. That's a lot of dirt to clean out of a white uniform. Here's this pitch. Look at this. He clips it and he barely met. Gargonzola almost got hit in the face. Second baseman dives for it into the dirt. And the outfield is going to pick it up and throw it back to first. And we know what happened there. The first man, first baseman just fell right into the dirt after that as well. I think he, I think it was just uh, trying to play a little bit of monkey see, monkey do, like we said earlier, <laughs> between the pitch. first and second baseman. Here's the th He can't pitch. He certainly can't pitch because it was way to the outside, 96 miles an hour. Speed doesn't mean anything as long as it's not crossing if over the home plate. If you don't have that swing. If you don't have that swing, it certainly... Uh, will not make it. Here is the throw, and it's going to be another swing and a miss. As they call that one f a strike. Almost called it a foul, but it was a strike. We have one man on first. Bases certainly are not loaded for these Mets tonight. There's a hit. Oh. This one's up in the air. It's going. It's going, and it's going to be off the wall as he picks that up, and he throws it back over to, I believe, it's the third baseman. He should mm. have put his glove in the air. Yeah, well, he didn't, and he <laughs> fell on the ground, too. <laughs> And this one, jacking it off before he says, <laughs> I'm ready to pitch again. Did you see his hand? I, I'm not sure what that gesture was. Let's see this replay. Gargonzola cheese throwing it. It's going high sky. Maybe going to hang out with the Sears Tower, but instead, wait a minute. Is that in New York? No, that's Chicago for sure. It's like Chicago. you just don't care. Any mix. And look at that. That's a beautiful amount of vine or something. What did they call that? A wall of flowers <laughs> like that. Ivy. Ivy. Yeah, it was a nice Ivy back there in the back. <laughs> But the ball did clip the ivy and fell. It was a little short of the uh, home Jeff run. Jeff gets distracted by the shrubbery. As usual. <laughs> 21 oh. of... Oh. Was that an orca or something? I'm not sure what that's that okra on the back of the... Of the... Uh, of the shirt. Here it gets ready for the pitch. Here's the pitch down the center. And that's a swing and a miss. 21. Yeah, 21 is the age you need to be if you want to drink at Wrigley Field. A refreshing Miller fortune. Fortune, yes. Yes, all the way. Uh, uh, if you, you want to watch, I'm not sure what's happening. This one's—it's off the ivy, <laughs> poison ivy. Hopefully, Jeff had a loss for words for once. <laughs> Definitely have a, a loss for words. And <laughs> more I'm, diving. I'm getting so sick of seeing these players dive for the dirt all night. It's just not helping their game at all. Here's this hit. Now watch it goes up, and you think it's gonna make it. Look at this camera work all the way back. It touches the ivy. 47 saying, whoa, that might be poison ivy. Don't want to get uh, a rash from that and have to put some calamine lotion on that instead. Here we are. We're back with Juan Lagoon Laguarez. Uh, getting ready to shoot this one, hopefully, into the home run zone. That's what the Mets need to try to catch up to the Cubs. They still lead 3-0. 3-1. Oh, 3-1. So the Mets got a, they did get a play or yep. a run, yes. Where are we during these home runs? I, I, I wish I knew. <laughs> Probably, grab, probably grabbing an ice cold Miller fortune. That's probably what I was doing here. <laughs> to the inside, and it's a strike. Still in the strike zone. Swing and a miss. 85 miles an hour. He's getting ready to uh, wind this back up again. There is a man on second. He's leading a little bit, and he almost looks oh. like Mike's. Now, who's on first? Uh, there's absolutely nobody on first. And first and second and third. I thought wrong. you knew a little bit about baseball. I'm the, I'm the one that's talking about... I thought about, you knew a little bit about Abbott and Costello, but that's okay. <laughs> yes, but I, I certainly don't. And here comes this throw. Look at this. Not even close with a <laughs> laggy glitch I've never seen before. Lazarez. Laguarez. 
misses <sighs> completely. I don't even, I, that was, again, I hate to reference again, but that's like some Angel in the Outfields thing. <laughs> you would see the curvy and the moving of the this ball. This movie had a very inspirational hold on Jeff's childhood, as we all it did. Yeah, I actually, I yep. have found out. I actually did see that one in uh, theaters when it came out. My father took me to go see it. In IMAX. In IMAX. <laughs> it wasn't in IMAX. We didn't have that back then. Well, I mean, we did. It was at the Science Center, and it still is. You know, nope. They, no, we, we have them oh, around here now. The Science back Center in the game, Chicago? Yeah, yeah, Science Center in Chicago. Uh, <laughs> giving it away. They have a grave aquarium, and that's what she said. Here is the Mets. Look at this uh, this batting stance way up top, and it's going to be a pop, pop over to the, uh, the shortstop. Damn it. No, that was the second baseman. That was the shortstop. shortstop. Yeah. Yep. The shortstop looked like he was playing the second baseman. That's why I always get confused. Here's the throw, and here's the click. Or click, the clip. Is that a new? <laughs> Throws it the uh, I'm not sure if we saw the same thing here. This is from earlier, right? Yeah, replay. Yeah, that's a replay from way earlier. Performing as badly as they did last week. I well, didn't see this team. <laughs> that's true. You didn't see this team last week, but this player uh, behind the the puppet master, as we would right. call it him. Is, it's difficult to watch him play because you you want you just you feel you start to feel bad for him. And <laughs> I do. I am one who roots for the underdog, so I'm really hoping he pulls through this this round. All right. Well, I'm I'm non-biased because I am an announcer and I'm supposed to be non-biased, but uh, <laughs> I will enjoy ice cold Miller Fortune. That is for sure. Oh, of course. <laughs> Fortune.